For this demonstration, we're going to get into FTP. We're going to show you another program that you can use. There are always multiple different programs. Many of them are free. For today's lesson, we're going to get into CyberDuck. So we have a website called the Valencia Web Studio that we use to basically host space for our web classes so that students gain experience FTPing. Each student has a space that we set up and a login that we will provide to you. We won't go into the details of what the login information is in this video, but we'll go through the process of how you can use the FTP program and once you have your login credentials, you can basically get into um, FTPing. So the CyberDuck program is just one of many FTP programs. It is completely free. Um, when you go into this program, when you first open it up, you are going to want to make sure that you choose this option up here for open a new connection. And before you start typing in information, you're going to make sure that this right here says FTP. There's a lot of other options here. You can see that um, some of these actually allow you to upload to you know, Dropbox or Google Drive, etc. if you have a certain version of CyberDuck. So in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and type in the information that we need to change. So the server is going to be our web address. And again, all of this information is online for you in our course for you to access to where you could literally copy and paste this. Your username is going to be your last name. And then um, at Valencia Web Studio. So that's going to vary. And your instructor will let you know if they've made any type of exceptions. In some cases, you know, if you have a name with multiple um, names in the last name, sometimes we simplify it. Or if two students have the same last name, we may come up with a different username. That at Valencia Web Studio, though, is a requirement. If it's not on there, your FTP login is not going to work. And then your password is going to basically be what we provide to you. So you are going to want to make sure that you go into the online course and get your login information. Once you are in, um, this basically gives you a list of all of the different things that we are going to be working on. We do FTP most of our exercises as well as our projects. And that is to give you this experience because it's very important as a web designer to know how to FTP. So with that said, we'll just go through the process the way this works. We're going to upload this one to exercise one. You may notice that there is a submission landing page. You can actually delete that. Um, and we're going to see there's the delete option right there. I am right clicking on this to get this option up. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then I have my files right here. And these demo files basically were provided by a student from last semester. And we basically have uh, our comps set up. And this was in another video. So if you've missed this, you do want to go back into the course and just review. So you want to test it on your end first and make sure all the images are working. And in this case, they are. And so what we're going to do is we are going to basically take the contents of the folder for what I was working on. So I need my index file, which is the HTML file that links to the images, and I have to have the images. Now before you upload, you want to make sure that your naming conventions are somewhat okay. So in this case, we do have um, index in all lowercase, no spaces, no special characters. Okay, and then the same thing with your images. Alright, so then we're going to go ahead and copy it over. And then they just basically move over and it says I have an error. And that's basically my quota has been exceeded. So that means basically that I have went over quota and certain images like right here, it's going to say that there's a certain image that will not go up online. And we'll test and see what happens. So this is a login from a student from last semester and we do have about 50 megabytes worth of space. So if this happens to you at all this semester, um, when you see it say quota exceeded, that basically means that you've went over your quota and you do not have a lot more space left to be able to work. Okay, and we'll just take a look. And it says that some of this is incomplete. So most of it has went up. It looks like we do have um, images and stuff that probably did not go up. So let's just take a look.
All right, so you see how the images are missing? So that basically means that my images did not go up online. So if I basically go in and delete something, we'll just kind of walk you through what that process would look like. So this right here is basically the project that I have that is probably putting us over quota. And we're just going to go ahead and say delete. And we'll go ahead and delete another project just because I don't feel as though I'm going to need this either. And that should fix the problem. Now on your end, if this happens, you want to make sure whatever you're deleting is stuff that has not been graded because we do need to make sure that we are able to review your files, etc. So usually this doesn't happen until later in the semester unless you're not paying attention to the type of files you're uploading. So if you happen to post a PSD file or an InDesign file, that's probably going to put you over. So I went back and got these images and I'm just dragging and dropping them right back into the exercise. And then it says, okay, continue. We're going to overwrite that file. That's what that just asked us. So one of the files last time, the HTML file, was small enough to get put up online. Um, so we do have all of that. And now we'll check again. And there's our files. And if you've done it correctly, they're going to load right away. And that should fix the problem. Okay. Um, again, if you do need to delete things, you just want to make sure that the work that has been posted has been graded. That should not usually happen until later in the semester. But if you ever do get a quota um, error, you do want to make sure that you pay attention to the file sizes that you have. It could be that your images are not optimized or possibly that you have too many files on the server or possibly that you also could have source files like Photoshop files or InDesign files or even PDFs. So we usually do not upload PDFs of our process books because they're a little bit too large for, for being online. So that should be enough for you to get FTP'd through CyberDuck. We will do another demo with another program. That way you have options if you ever have any challenges with any of these programs. Um, just know that your instructors are there to support you and we can help um, guide you through if you're running into any challenges.